Hello and welcome to the Domestic Cricket Podcast, where we discuss the latest news, big stories, player movements, fixtures, results, classic matches, and of course, interviews with domestic and international cricketers. So if you're a fan of the Sheffield Shield, One Day Cup, or a cricket fan in general, you'll love this podcast. I'm your co-host, Caleb Bland, along with Sam Fitzgibbon. We hope you enjoy this episode. Hello and welcome back to the Domestic Cricket Podcast by Backyard Sports. Today we've got another special guest from Zimbabwe, an upcoming Zimbabwean Test One Day and 2020 cricketer and also one of the star players in the Zimbabwe and South African domestic cricket competitions. Please welcome to the show, Brandon Mavuta. Uh, uh, hi, Kelly. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Now, the COVID-19 pandemic would have affected you and the entire Zimbabwe cricket squad, including support staff and administration. What's the environment over there uh, in Zimbabwe like now? Uh, Are you getting back to uh, to training soon? And um, what's your training schedule been like over the past few months, uh, obviously, with all these restrictions in place? Um, uh, Yes, uh, the the COVID-19 has been uh, been, um, um, a a hit on us, but... um, I think we managed to do a few things, and um, I think things are loosening uh, down a bit here in Zimbabwe. So uh, just recently, we just had uh, our uh, COVID nineteen test. So hopefully, we'll be uh, getting back to business very soon. So yeah, I'm just excited and waiting to to get back in the field. You're only a young man yourself, Brendan, currently 23 years old, so it wasn't too long ago that you featured uh, in the 2016 Under-19s Cricket World Cup for Zimbabwe. Uh, How important uh, was that uh, experience in the Under-19s Cricket World Cup uh, into getting you into the test one day in 2020 uh, lineups for Zimbabwe as you are right now? Um, uh, yes, of course. I think um, it played a very big role in my in my career because I think it's, it's it's a stepping stone for for every young kid uh, representing uh, his country at a very young age. And um, I, I was quite bad, uh, fortunate being the captain of of my twenty six and nineteen. And I think that that actually give gave me um, a lot of exposure and um, it gave me an opportunity to show that. Um, Sure that I'm 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 very capable to to represent my country. So I think it 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 it, it really uh, played um, a very big role in my career. So and then uh, I think after under nineteen, I went on to represent uh, Zimbabwe A side, and um, then I got a call up after a few years. So I think it it it, it really did uh, play a massive role in my in my career. So I've done a bit of research uh, on sport in Zimbabwe and it appears that uh, soccer's, uh, well, football, uh, as it'd be known over there, is not only the national sport, but the most popular sport, I believe, in Zimbabwe. Uh, Would you mind explaining uh, to some of the Australian viewers we have here uh, at Backyard Sports, uh, what's the cricket scene like in Zimbabwe and just how popular is it? Uh, Yes, um... Yes, of course, soccer is, uh, is the most popular sport in Zimbabwe, but uh, uh, I think cricket is also coming is also coming in uh, bit by bit, uh, going into like different areas. Um, because uh, years ago it used to be like um, of uh, it used to be a spot of uh, people who were who were more fortunate than others, but now like a few people that are coming from 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 less fortunate people and managing to play um uh, cricket now youngsters from the ghetto are actually um actually getting an opportunity to play cricket and because they they've got their idols um that 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 have played cricket and they're coming from their areas for for example um I grew up in the ghetto and um for that sake it's because um youngsters from from the ghetto now start to like cricket uh, because they know that um, someone can also do it, so um, it's it's actually getting uh, more evolved, and uh, it's actually getting to to all parts of, of of the country now, and people are more interested in it. Uh, I think also the um, the qualifiers play, played a huge role uh, of 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 it, because uh, when the qualifiers were, were were held in our country, I think people started to. 
to enjoy cricket more and started to follow more cricket. So yeah, it's 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 it's, it's getting there. Obviously, Zimbabwe uh, cricket has ha- had a fair few issues in recent years, including only last year being banned uh, by the ICC for six months uh, from being uh, involved in any ICC events, including uh, missing out on the opportunity to qualify for the 2020 World Cup in Australia this year. Um, what are the uh, what's a playing group's uh, goals um, for the next couple years, and um, how are they looking to get Zimbabwe cricket uh, back to its former glory uh, that it had uh, in the late nineteen nineties and early two thousands when uh, Zimbabwe were as good as anyone in the world? Yeah, um, I think um, the group's goal is to just um, keep the graph going up. Um, making sure we improving every time that that we're getting out of the park um uh, slowly but surely but uh, the, the the main aim is to 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 be one of the best teams in the kind in 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 the con- in the continent uh so um, we 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 moving we're moving slowly and i think we're moving slowly in the right direction so let's see um in 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 years to come how 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 are we going to be? And I'm pretty sure in a few years we're going to be a powerhouse. So for those at home who do not know, uh, Brendan Mavuta's uh, main role in the Zimbabwe cricket team is a leg spinner. I'd like to know, uh, what are the conditions like over there in Zimbabwe? Uh, are they uh, spin-friendly wickets or um, is Harari more spin-friendly than Bulawayo perhaps? What are the um, pitches like over there? Um, I think uh, wickets in, in Harare and in... And Bloya, they're a bit different. Um, I think in Arara, they they're more they're more uh, seam friendly. Um, and then uh, in Bulawayo, this way there's um, uh, uh, more spin friendly conditions. So, but then yeah, uh, that that's my role in the team, being a leg spinner. And um, I guess you just have to adjust to every condition that uh, that you get um, in in whatever that you can apply, because you're not gonna play in 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 one in one country so i think it's a good advantage to have almost um different wickets in the same country because you know what to do when when you get to to other countries now as we like to do here on the domestic cricket podcast uh we like to ask a few uh fan questions uh, at the end of our interview so the first fan question that's been sent through to us is what was your favourite wicket uh, that you've taken for Zimbabwe? Um, I actually uh, got to uh, think a few of 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 the wickets. My favourite wickets. I think in every format, I've got my 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 own my own favourite wicket. Um, I think for for T Twenty, my favourite wicket is Faf Duplessis. I think it was first ball. Um, I was just trying to get my line, and then. Uh, then first ball hit it straight to uh, to uh, to sweeper, so that was one of my favorite wickets. And then for one day cricket, I uh, was I uh, was Christian Yonker. I think after hitting me for two boundaries, then the next ball I bowled him out. Uh, and then um, the third one for test, it was Mushfik, uh, Rahim in in Bangladesh. Uh, we we they were chasing and um, we we had them. And then uh, he was, I think he was like the, their own uh, main batter who was left. And then I, I got him out. So I think, I, and, and, and I think out of all the wickets, that's that's my favorite wicket because uh, we ended up uh, winning the test. So I think that was uh, quite a memorable time for me. And I'll always cherish it in my career. Yeah. Moving on to the second fan question is, what age did you start playing cricket? Um, started playing cricket at the age of seven. And the last uh, fan question to be sent in uh, was, who was your cricketing hero growing up as a child? Uh, my cricketing hero growing up as a child uh, was Shane Wan. Uh, I think I've, I also I have uh, all these uh, masterclass videos on uh, my laptop and all that up until now. And uh, I think my only wish is to like have a chat with him one day when I get to meet him and I think he can share a few a few leg spin tricks 
and um, I'll be glad if it, if it does that to me. So yeah, he was he was my idol, and he still is, because uh, he was he was a great man. I think during his career, he did uh, he he actually put Lexpin on the map. So yeah, he he's my idol. Well, Brandon, it was a pleasure talking to you today. Um, thanks for your time on the Domestic Cricket Podcast by Backyard Sports. Uh, some fantastic answers there. And I hope to speak to you soon. And I wish you all the best uh, with your cricketing future and especially the next couple uh, seasons. Uh, hopefully, uh, you'll actually um, get to play in Australia in August for the scheduled free uh, ODIs against Australia. Uh, um, no problem. Uh, thank you for having me too. Uh, it's been a great ple- It's been a great pleasure having a chat with you. Uh, and uh, thank you very much.